I'm still hoping. I am still praying. I'm still believing. It's been five years. And... Hello everyone, you guys, oh my god, you guys, can you see this smile, like can you see this big smile, that's because the girl is super excited, I am excited, I'm grateful, I'm happy, I'm joyful, oh my god, like I have a lot of butterflies in my stomach right now, anyways, let me say hello to you guys first before I, oh my god, hello everyone welcome back to my channel to my returning subscribers hi hi welcome to my new subscribers hi hi welcome and to those who are going to stumble on this channel for the first time hi hi welcome please don't make this your last kindly consider subscribing to my channel on this channel we keep it real we keep it simple we keep it as it is trust me i'm going to love it here so you guys it's my wedding anniversary oh my god like i've been married for five years Ooh, ooh, oh my god <laughs> you guys i am so so grateful to god today is my wedding anniversary this small girl like this girl right here has been married for five years 2019 to 2024 ooh, oh my god oh my god just like yesterday like by this time we're almost done yeah we're almost done with the reception we're actually at the reception party partying and having fun with our friends our family our loved ones i know i just want to come on here and say a few things like you guys oh my god oh my god i am grateful i am grateful just congratulate me and mine wish us well pray for us because this journey of five years has been god nothing but god nothing but god like i owe it to god I owe it to God Almighty. I owe it to Jesus. I owe it to my partner, to my darling husband. Because trust me, you guys, your girl right here married a good man. Like, I married one of the best. And I'm grateful to God for that. Like, God had picked him for me. Because <laughs> your girl right here, me, I know sometimes my head will touch. Like, I know the year one, but he's been able to, you know, accommodate all my excesses, all my stubbornness. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i'm just grateful to god and i just want to say a few things here i don't know if anyone has heard that too you know there's this when i said there's a misconception there's this thing people always say that the first year of marriage is always the most difficult year let me know if you've heard that before but honestly i just want to come on here and tell you guys that that's a lie that's a big fat lie yeah, it's a really big fat lie. That's a lie, to be honest. That's not true. Because <laughs> the first day of marriage is still the honeymoon phase. It's still the lovey, lovey, lovey phase. So why should it be the most difficult year of your marriage? Like, people always say that, that if you can scale through the first year, that means you can scale through the many years of, you know, your marriage, that the first year is always the difficult year. But I bet to differ because you guys it's been five years and your girl right here is still enjoying our marriage like <laughs> i'm still in my honeymoon phase to be honest even though we've not gone for a proper proper honeymoon we've not gone to the maldives we've not gone to the safari but this is me speaking into, into existence that hopefully someday god willing that that's going to happen because your girl right here has not left the shores of nigeria before yes hobby has left a couple of times like he has gone to a lot of countries, but me, the farthest I've been to is Lagos. Yes, that's the farthest I've been to is Lagos, but I've not been to anywhere outside Nigeria. But I know that God willing, someday that's going to happen for me. Yes, for us. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it, guys. I just want to say that about the misconception a lot of people have seen that the first year of marriage is always the most difficult year. That's a big fat lie. Do not believe that. The most important thing I'm going to um, urge a lot of people out there that are wanting to get married is just number one, marry a good person. Like whether a guy or a girl, marry a good person, marry a kind person, marry someone that, that loves God, that loves family. Yes, that loves people. 
not just you alone because the way he treats people that's how he's going to treat you trust me the way he treats his family his friends his colleagues his loved ones that's how he's going to treat you and even better yes he's going to treat you way better so if you marry someone that is not kind someone that is not is not good trust me <laughs> maybe you are going to experience all that people say but most importantly let god be the center of your marriage let god be the the pillar of your home the pillar of your marriage and if you put god first trust me every other thing is going to fall in place and that has been that has been it for my marriage we've been trusting god we've been hoping on god we've, we've in fact god is the center of this marriage god has been the one carrying us through these years and i know that we're going to celebrate 10 years 15 years 20 years 50 years 100 years if jesus tarry amen and another thing you guys hey god anyways i'm still hoping i am still praying i'm still believing it's been five years and you guys hey if i tell you this you guys are not going to believe that up till now we don't have wedding album like the photographer has not given us our wedding album he has not given us our wedding videos we don't have anything like if people come to my house now there's no album for me to show them that yes i got married like they're not going to see any album thankfully i got married in in the jet age where you have phones because the most of most of the pictures i have the enlarged pictures we have in this house were phone pictures or our phone pictures we don't have any um, professional pictures because I don't know what happened. We don't know what happened up till now, five years and count. Maybe it's going to come tomorrow, but it's been five years. We are still hoping and we are still waiting that <laughs> our wedding picture, our wedding album is going to come, which I know that it's not going to come. I know it's not, it's, it's, I won't say never, but I doubt if it's going to because, you know, the photographer said he's just back and forth. And hobby, those who know hobby know that he's a very peaceful person. He's he's a man of few words. He doesn't like. He's just like you know what. At this point, there's nothing that can be done. So just let it slide and just forget about it. Thankfully, your your friends came around. They took pictures of you and all of that. So one of the um albums, you know, the arrangement I have was gifted to me by my girl. The Alicia of the UK, my friend Felicia, she's currently in the UK. Yeah, so she did that for us. And the other ones, we did it by ourselves. So we don't have our wedding album. Let me know. You know, I've seen those kind of things online when people say that um, their, their photographer disappointed them and all of that. I didn't know that I was going to, or that was going to happen to me later in the future. But your girl right here is one of those people that has been disappointed by her photographer and her videographer but anyways we're right here it's just, it's just a picture it's just a photo album it's just a video so i'm not angry i've moved past that to be honest because there are better things to worry about not album not pictures so i'm just i just want to come on here and encourage people out there that they are still good marriages yes they are still beautiful marriages they are still beautiful men out there God fearing men, kind men out there. There are still kind women out there. Beautiful women out there. God fearing women out there. Just, just marry your friend. Just marry someone that understands you, that always wants the best for you. Looking back at 20, 2018, where I and my husband met, and looking back at our wedding day because we met in 2018 we got married in 2019 and this is 2024 we are still together waxing strong to the glory and honor of the lord yeah and <laughs> oh my god i am just thinking about it like you mean i am married like i've been married for five years how is that like how five years was just like yesterday five years was just like like I remember the proposal anyways i'm going to do a sit down video on how i met my husband let me know if it's something you will want to hear <laughs> yes how we met how he proposed and um all of that just let me know if it's something you want to even if you don't want to even if you don't comment i'm going to give you guys the story so but let me show you what even if you don't comment i am going to 
tell you guys that just because trust me our proposal story it's a very very interesting scary <laughs> and funny one and trust me you don't want to the gist the hot hot gist and our um, um yeah proposal yeah that one of course and okay how we met yeah that one i'm going to also tell you guys how we met it was when i say it was love at first sight for me it wasn't for him i think he was but for me it wasn't so you guys that's all i've come here to say it's a short video i just come on i just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that today is my wedding anniversary your girl right here has been married for five years five beautiful years please don't forget to say a prayer for me wish me well wish us well i'm going to be attaching pictures hopefully yes i'm going to be attaching pictures so that you guys would see the journey thus far the journey of um the maybe the proposal that i have the pictures or our wedding day or 2019 like showing you guys 2019 yeah and 2024 like there's a huge difference i'm sure you guys can 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 attest to that there's a huge huge difference 2019 2024 but in all we give thanks to god yes obi is not here at the moment you guys know already how it is again it's always by herself but yeah i'm good <laughs> i'm good hubby is i'm out of town for work yeah but hopefully you guys will be seeing him on this channel soon hopefully god really maybe 2025 maybe but you guys will be seeing him on my channel god really and i'm not promising you guys this is not a couple channel this is all about this channel is all about juliet on i job but never say never right <laughs> so you guys don't forget to pray for us don't forget to wish us well and i'll be signing out here you can see that i'm very excited that's because i want to go out with my girl <laughs> i want to go out with my friend you just want to you know go out and chill relax and just you know have fun and just have a few things to eat and to celebrate my wedding anniversary because five years five years of grace five years of god's goodness god's blessings yes we are not there we are not where we want to be but trust me we are not anywhere close to where we used to be and that's because god has been super faithful and i owe it all to god to god almighty so you guys we've come to the end of today's video please do not forget to like do not forget to share. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to comment because I love reading your comments. I love, love reading your comments. And I'm going to see you all in my next one. Bye.